In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God gave shape to all creation and created man in his own likeness. He planted the Garden of Eden in the east, and he created Adam to keep watch over it. And on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Abraham took his family and relatives to settle in Haran. According to God's promise, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. He proclaimed the resurrection, and to complete his promise, he was crucified. The first believers were scattered by the persecution that broke out when Stephen was martyred. They went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, spreading the word only among the Jews. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. Paul answered, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Cilicia. From Paphos, Paul and his companions sailed to Perga in Pamphylia, where John left them to return to Jerusalem. From Perga, they went on to Pisidian Antioch. On the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and sat down. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews, and so spoke that a great multitude both of the Jews and also of the Greeks believed. But they found out about it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derb and the surrounding country, where they continued to preach the gospel. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia. When they came to the border of Mycenae, they tried to enter Bithynia. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was a learned man with a thorough knowledge of the scriptures. We boarded a ship from Adramitium, about to sail for ports along the coast of the province of Asia. From the book of Revelation, letters to seven churches, to the church in Ephesus, to the church in Smyrna, to the church in Pergamum, to the church in Thyatira, to the church in Sardis, to the church in Philadelphia, to the church in Laodicea. Amen. St. Polycarp, a disciple of John and Bishop of Izmir. He was burned in the Izmir theater in front of a great crowd of people. The Council of Chalcedon, an ecumenical council that started October 8th, A.D. 451 and ended November 1st. The Council of Nicaea was gathered in A.D. 325 to clarify issues discussed within the Roman Empire about Christianity, called by the Emperor Constantine. The Hagia Sophia was built between A.D. 532 and 537 in Constantinople by Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. Gregory of Nazianzus, Archbishop of Constantinople who lived in Cappadocia. He was also known as one of the Cappadocian Fathers between A.D. 331 and 394. Saint Nicola, Bishop of Myra, modern-day Demre, who lived during the 4th century. Andrea Santoro was a Catholic priest who was martyred in Trabzon in 2006. Tilmangeske, Nejati Aida, and Ur Yuksa were murdered by assassins because of their faith in Christ in Malatya in 2007. Luigi Padovese, the apostolic vicar of Anatolia and the titular bishop of Monteverde, was murdered by his driver in 2010 in Iskenderun. Turkey has played host to 2,000 years of Christian history and heritage. What you see here are the traces of the ancient history of Christianity in Anatolia. So today, how much of this heritage remains? According to official figures, Turkey's population today is 78 million. According to official data, 99.8% of the population in Turkey today identifies with a religion other than Christianity. It is thought that 150,000 people in Turkey today are Christians, although official figures cannot be provided. Of all countries in the world, Turkey is one of the top five countries with the least population of Christians. 
For every one Christian in Turkey, there are 5,200 non-Christians. Sat7 Turk is taking important steps to preserve and tell people about Turkey's Christian heritage. It continues to provide hope as we look toward the future of this country. Thank you.